Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C square. In this example we will solve a trigonometric equation in the interval 0 to pi. So first thing that we you may want to notice is equal 0 which is good and also we have a tangent of x in both terms of this equation. That means we can use this fact, right? Factor out the tangent of x, the GCF, and then well, we're going to put inside what is not in common, which is square root of 2 cosine of x, and obviously minus 1, equals 0. And now we have this equation, which is a product of two factors equals to 0. So that means we can use the zero product property and we make it the tangent of x equals 0, or the second factor, which is square root of 2 cosine of x minus 1 equals 0. And for the first equation, tangent of x equals 0, I would like here to use this quotient identity. But you don't really need that if you know the value of tangent of x, how to play with tangent of x. And by if you use this method, then you notice sine of x has to be 0. So for that reason, I'm going to use the unit circle. Here I have a mistake, it should be negative 1 half. And I'm going to start moving on this unit circle and look for the moment where the sine is zero. And the first one is right here, right? Sine is the y value. So x equals zero is one solution. And if we keep moving, we notice we go and see another zero here, which is 180 degree or just pi. Well, what about the second? Oh, by the way, nothing else, right? For the second one, first of all, we need to solve for cosine of x in this case. So we have square root of 2 cosine of x equals 1. We're going to divide by square root of 2. And you get cosine of x equals 1 over square root of 2. So now you may say, I'm going to look on the unit circle to see where the cosine is 1 over square root of 2. And if you notice, there is no place because probably the best way to do it is to rationalize this guy. And then we end up here with square root of 2 over 2. So that is a lot better, I think. And now we're going to look you know, for the moment where the cosine is square root of 2 over 2. So again, cosine is the x value. So I'm going to start moving. And the first time when I see the cosine being square root of 2 over 2 is right here. That is pi over 4. And then if we kind of keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, 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 and we notice right here in quadrant 4, one more time, and it will be 7 pi over 4. These are the solution for this trigonometric equation. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click the like button and comment on C-square for more help. Thank you.